the greatest need in MS right now is understanding what is progressive MS. What are the biologic underpinnings that is causing the gradual little by little decline in patient's function? We think it's arising from the injury the patient got years ago or accumulated over many, many years. But what is going on within those lesions or elsewhere in the brain or the spinal cord that is causing that insidious, gradual, little by little decline? Because without knowing what is causing it, it's very hard to come up with treatment approaches or even imaging approaches to measure it. If we could figure out what are the biologic underpinnings leading to the progression, I think that would make it much easier to then identify potential therapies, test them in trials, and find therapies that actually slow the progression.